uh, AEW Rampage. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, the matches on this card, right? We have three matches. First was this match. The Lucha Brothers versus the Butcher and the Blade for the tag team titles. All right? And then the women's match. Anna J versus the Bunny. And then the main event, Figo Del Sol taking once again a mural for the TNT Championship. Those are the three matches that happened on the card. But there's other interesting things that happened on this that I thought were wow, amazing. And the title, basically the title of the show of this review says it all. And <laughs> shots fired, guys. Um, so let's go with the, the first match, the tag team title match. Lucha Bros, you know, tag team champions, and, uh, defeated the Young Bucks, all, all out. Now, they defend their title against the Butcher and the Blade, who are part of Matt Hardy's faction that and ha- and incorporates Private Party, the Bunny, um, ha- um, the, the tag team of Angelico and Jack Evans, who wasn't there. Angelico wasn't there, but Jack Evans was. This match was a lot of fun. No, Butcher and Blade are undefeated, so they're to- in the top ranks. Of the tag team division, so they get the title match against Lucha Bros. This match was extremely fun. Um, it was a lot of creativity in this match too, guys. So, like for example, I like that. I like that uh, moves on to the German suplex spot. I did like when they had to when um they tied. I'm sorry. With the um, um, when they tied uh, Pentagon's mask to the ropes, and he had to kind of take off his mask and hide himself to sacrifice himself for his team to win, and the Lucha Bros did get the win here. They get the win. I believe, yeah, they did get the win. Did they get the wins right? Uh, yeah. Uh, they need to retain the title. Retain their tag team titles. As you see here, they retain. And uh, after the match, he did get attacked. He did get attacked by Private Party. In, yeah, in Mahari's faction. And then out of nowhere, Private Powerful Santana Ortiz came out from came out backstage to help up the longtime rivals. The Lucha Bros, they were rivals specifically in Impact. They fend off Matt Hardy's team, faction. And uh, yeah, it was a good starting match. Next, we didn't have a match. Next, we had uh, Kenny Omega and Dallin Bryan. Or Bryan Dallin. I'm sorry, don't get at me. Don't come at me. Talking. Actually, it's Kenny Omega calls Brian Dallas as an underdog. Brian Dallas has been perceived as an underdog in his career. Brian Dallas come came to AEW to see to, to seek a challenge, and the cream of the top was Kenny Omega. And yeah, and they're gonna have a match at Grand Slam. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. And then we got the women's match, which featured which featured the Bunny and Anna J. And JJ just came back from an injury, right? Now this is, I think this is a for singles match. This match was solid for what it was. The bunny was 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 accompanied by Penelope Ford and Matt Hardy. This match was solid. The bunny Ali worked on her uh, and Anna J's injured shoulder. She had the she had this with the padding, whatever. And and they had an advantage. Penelope Ford got on the turn by, uh, got on the ropes on the side of the on the apron to distract the referee. Bunny was about to go for a finish or whatever. But unfortunately, fortunately, uh, Anna J rolled up the bunny for one, two, three. Anna J gets the win, as you see here. She gets the win. But after that, we see that Penelope Ford, uh, we see that after a celebration. We see that the bunny attacks Anna J. Tay Condi, who was a company Anna J, comes in to defend her friend. Unfortunately, Penelope Ford comes in to attack Tay Condi. They, they attack, uh, they attack, and then they get the upper hand on Tay Condi. For and Anna J was no condition to compete. They, they, 
help her friend. Penelope Ford had uh, brass knuckles. She put them on and knocked out Tay Conti. While Anna Jay was in the middle of days and stuff, she turned her attention to Anna Jay and Penelope Ford knocked out Anna Jay with the brass knuckles. Yeah. So the bunny lost. Anna Jay wins. But in the end, Penelope Ford and Anna Jay. Penelope, not Anna Jay, Penelope Ford and the bunny get the last laugh. But after that, we get an interview with Shivani and Matt Hardy. And the Matt Hardy's, whatever team, his faction has been losing. That's twice. The Bunny and, his, and the Butcher and Blade have been losing. And he's pissed off about it. He's having a bad, bad day. And he goes, and he talks about Orange Cassidy, which is playing a hair versus hair match, right? And then there's a guy in the crowd. He mentions a guy in the crowd that has, that has the gene, the jean jacket and the jean pants and the glasses like Orange Cassidy goes up to confront the guy in the crowd looks at him like this pissed off grabs him, pushes him over the railing, brings him into the ring they start beating him up beating him up Jack Evans joins the ring and if Jack Evans has scissors and yeah they start cutting his hair as you see here or shaving and cutting right and then yeah here and then they were about. They're gonna. They were gonna go full bald. Obviously, they're gonna shave everything off. But Orange Cassidy comes through to save, to save the save the fan. Obviously, he's not a fan. He's probably like, he's obviously somebody. He's a stand-in or whatever a wrestler. They know, because he took bumps. Because he took the, he took the twist of fate from Matt Hardy. And yeah, and then yeah, that was great. That was great. But I think what really was the best thing, if it's not the matches, the matches were not the best thing. I think was the, the shots fired by both, both Ruby Soho and Britt Baker. Wow. This was, such, this, this was getting personal between the two. Really, really personal. And this just made it even more personal. They have a match at Grand Slam and Dynamite this, new, uh, this Wednesday coming up. But just look at this. This is the ending of this. Wow. Wow. Like, what did I say? Like, Burp, uh, Ruby caught her out for sleeping from one, with one of the guys in the back because she stayed at Burr Baker State. Adam Cole head up Tony Khan's ass because if you know backstage, Burt Baker has been trying, it's been in, supposedly in Tony Khan's ear convincing him to do this for her, market her, make her do what she wants. And I like what this, I like how Brew Baker says, Brew Baker says, oh, you said you're a one away, but no, you were fired. Which is true. She was technically released with WWE. So in a way she was fired, right? Uh, that was great. It was great. And Booby White did say, yes, that is true. That is, that is true. But she was glad she was fired because she would have never been in this spot where she is now. She's glad. And then as it was ending, Ruby was about to leave. Bur Baker went to attack her, but Ruby right dodged it and attacked Bur Baker. Right? There. Yeah. And that that this is before that. She holds up the title. And yeah, and uh Dynamite. AW Dynamite Grand Slam in New York. We're gonna talk about it because I'm looking forward to that. And then they did a recap, they did a recap of the CM Punk with Team Taz. Remember uh, Will Hobbs put CM Punk through the announce table when CM Punk was guest announcing? And next week on Rampage, a two-hour Rampage for Rampage Grand Slam. Remember, Grand Slam is two nights, Dynamite and Rampage, both in New York, Arthur Ashe Stadium. I'm looking forward to that. Kenny Omega versus Brian Donaldson and other stuff, whatever. Looking looking good. They recap that Hobbs is going to face Punk at, yeah, Rampage. And then we got to the main event. First, before the main event, we got Mark Henry interviewing both Figo del Sol and Miro, the TNT champion. As you know, every Rampage, they do this. They do the, they have the pre-match interviews with Mark Henry, right? Figo del Sol, remember, he almost <laughs> he almost got the upper hand against Miro when he does tornado. He's almost won. But this time, he, he, and he got the contract. He got the contract. This time, he, he has a brand new car he just bought, and he's willing to put that in the line just to get his title match. 
Yeah, so you put up a lot of state on the line here. Miro, I love Miro. I love that one line. The, the Redeemer, the God's up, the God's up here, and my wife down, lay low. My God up high, my wife lay low, down low. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they, 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 the main event starts. Their match is very solid. I thought the match is very solid. Uh, Field also look really, really good in this match. You would think that they're, they're, you would think there's times where you think, oh, Field also could possibly win this match. Unfortunately, not. Miro won with the kicks. One kicks. Didn't put him in submission. He just finished off with the kick. One, two, three. And then after the match, so Field also loses the car. After the match, Miro has the keys to the car. You can't see the keys here, but he puts him in a submission. Field also in a submission. And then Sammy Guevara comes out to help Figo del Sol because they're buddies. Sammy Guevara was there when they offered Figo del Sol the contract of officially signing AEW. And then comes to, comes against the upper hand against Miro. Miro leaves. You see Sammy with the, the belt, the TNT Championship. And he clearly wants the next shot at the TNT Championship. And I think that match is going to happen. I'm not sure if it's Dynamite or Rampage, but it's going to happen. Sammy Guevara and Miro. And I can see Sammy Guevara possibly upsetting Miro here. But I don't know. I don't know. You tell me otherwise. But yeah, this rampage is very solid. I think the best part, I mean, the matches are good. I think the best part was the promo, the firing shots between Ruby Soho and Britt Baker. Um, I'm really looking, look, 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 I'm really looking forward to AEW Dynamite Rampage Grand Slam. Remember, Grand, remember, Rampage next week is two hours. Two hours. I'm really looking for those matches. Uh, specifically, Kenny Omega versus Brian Danielson. I'm doing watch alongs for that. I'm, I'm going to set that up early because we know all the matches. Because all the matches have been uh, announced for that sh those shows. I'm really looking forward to that. So, yeah, I like this show. Overall, it's a good show. My first AEW Rampage. Tell me in the comments below. Did you like it or not? Um, yeah. And thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Thank you, guys.